this is Dennis Martin, president of DeMartech. In today's video, we'll be discussing HBA and CNA management. Immunex Corporation asked us to evaluate their one command manager software and compare it to equivalent software from two competitors. So let's take a look at the evaluation environment. You can see here in the middle we have four servers. Three of these servers are running Windows 2008 R2. One server is running VMware vSphere 4. Inside these servers we've placed several adapters. So here's an example of the Emulex CNA, the fiber channel over ethernet adapter that runs 10 gigabit ethernet and it runs 10 gigabit fiber channel over ethernet. And then here is an example of the Emulex 8 gig fiber channel adapter. This runs 8 gigabit fiber channel. So on the left side here we have a fiber channel SAN, so we have a fiber channel switch, an 8 gigabit fiber channel switch. Also running we have uh, in the SAN we have fiber channel storage. On the right side we have an FCOE switch with native FCOE storage. So they asked us to take a look at several things, including installation, automation of tasks, managing multiple protocols, and scalability. So let's take a look at topology management. Using the Emulex software, you can see here, we've got several adapters that is identified, uh, not only in the server that we're looking at, but other servers that are in the same uh, fabric. And the nice thing about this software is it not only gives you the details of each one, but it also gives you a nice summary. So you can see here we have three hosts involved here. We have two different fabrics, the fiber channel fabric and the FCOE fabric. We have seven different adapters, each of which is dual port, so you can see it shows 14 adapter ports, and we have two target ports, some in each of the SANs. Another thing that you have to do sometimes is update the adapter. Uh, with the Emulex software, you can update both firmware and drivers. You can run it individually on one adapter at a time, or you can run it in batch mode where you can update several adapters all at the same time. You can update this locally only on just the machine you're running on, or you can update it remotely from a different machine. And lastly, this creates a log file. You can see at the lower part of the screen here we have a log of the activity of the actual updates. You can save this log file out for analysis later. Another function that we can do with these converged adapters, because they run both fiber channel and ethernet, is something called NIC teaming. So in the example here, you can see that the Emulex software can see both the Emulex adapters and any other adapters that are out here, and you can team either just the Emulex ones or you can team the other ones as well. So one of the things you have to do from time to time is diagnose the adapter. So in the Emulex software, you can see here there are a number of diagnostic functions, too many to talk about right here, but I'll just mention a few. Uh, you can look at the registers, you can run diagnostic tests, you can run a power on self test and so forth. There's also a diagnostic dump feature which allows you to save off all this data into a file that you can go analyze later. One of the features that's unique to the Emulex adapter is the ability to change the worldwide name. Changing the worldwide name can come in handy sometimes. If an adapter fails and you need to take it offline, you can put in a replacement adapter which normally comes with its own worldwide name but you can then substitute the worldwide name of the original adapter, therefore you don't have to change the zoning and that sort of thing. You can make this change either temporary or you can make it permanent. So there are more details on the full report which you'll find at demartech.com. In addition we have a special FCOE zone on demartech.com which gives you lots of other information about fiber channel over ethernet. You can find that by going to demartech.com slash FCOE. We've also put together a comparison of all the storage interfaces and you can find that by going to your favorite search engine and entering DeMartech Interface Comparison. I'm Dennis Martin. Thanks for watching this video and look forward to many more. Yeah.